Hello everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. Uh, today I have another lighthouse for you. I wanted to do one more. Uh, last time we did a tropical lighthouse, a little tropical scene, and this time I wanted to do a winter scene. So here's the one that we're gonna be doing. It's really simple. In fact, it only uses, I think, five stamps. Five stamps and I think uh, about three markers. So really, really easy to do. I just kind of wanted to finish up the Lighthouse series by doing one more and a winter theme. So uh, I hope you guys like this project. Uh, please leave me your, me your comments. Um, even though this is a recorded tutorial, I will go back and check your comments and your questions. And of course, as always, please let me know if you would like to have this sample. Uh, we'll put you in the drawing and we'll give it away. So be sure to put that in the comments that you are interested in having this one and uh, we will be sure to include you in the drawing. So let's get going on this project and uh, we're going to do this little winter lighthouse. Okay, everyone, here we go. Here is our project. It's this little winter scene. Super, super easy to do and simple. It doesn't need a lot. It's got the little uh, lighthouse and the cliff, and uh, we can just do this really simple composition. So it's, and actually, it's only taking three colors. So the N79, the 969, and the 565, the blue. So this is all it takes, you guys. So it's just a really easy, fun thing to do. So really, when you need something in just a few minutes, and especially Especially, this is more of a masculine card so just really easy to do so let's go ahead and get going on this little project so here's what we're gonna need this is what we're using we're gonna use uh, obviously something from the lighthouse set and it is this one back in here we're gonna do that one uh, the cliffs we're gonna use this one that kind of juts off to the right and then in the mini foliage set uh, we're going to use the, the little trees. So I think I used this one going to the left, but either one are going to work and the little tiny grass. And then in this one, in the seagull set, we're gonna use the little seagulls right here. And then in the foliage set, we're gonna use this grass right here. So it doesn't take very much. We're gonna have so much fun doing this project. I hope you will give this one a try. Uh, it really is just that simple. Okay, so we're gonna start out with the cliff and we're going to ink it in two colors and then we're gonna stamp it off. So I'm gonna grab a piece of scratch uh, scratch uh, watercolor paper. So remember when you're stamping off, uh, you know, to get some of that ink off, make sure you're using watercolor paper. If you try to stamp off on cardstock, it's just gonna take all the ink off of your stamp. So be sure you're using watercolor uh, paper when you're stamping off. Okay, so we're going to start out with the dark, uh, actually we're going to start out with the blue. So the 565 blue, we're going to ink this whole thing with the 565. We're just going to ink that whole thing up. And then we're going to go over just this edge, just the edge of this cliff with the brown. And then we're just going to stamp it off. And then we can stamp it onto our watercolor paper just like that. Okay, so now we can add our lighthouse to this. And I'm just gonna take a piece of uh, post-it tape. And let me just uh, zoom out just a little bit here. And I'm gonna cover this line here because I wanna stamp that lighthouse kind of behind so it looks like it's uh, back behind this little snowy bluff. Now, you, this could be, you could, make this snowy or you could just make this kind of barren with some more barren trees in it it's really supposed to be a winter scene so there's no greenery in here there's no florals but it's really easy to make it snowy too so that's kind of what i've done here but you can uh if you don't want it to be snowy you can just add more more of this um dried grasses in here a few more trees and um and a little more color in here not so much white okay so i'm going to make it look more like it is snowy and I'm going to stamp my, my little lighthouse. And I'm, I'm gonna stamp this off too. So we're gonna ink this in two colors. Again, the, um, the dark blue. We really want that, you know, kind of gray, uh, that gray look. And we get that by mixing these two colors together. So now that we've done that, we're gonna just stamp this off onto this scrap uh, piece of paper. And then I'm going to just make sure that it's straight and I'm gonna stamp it uh, right kind of behind that cliff. So it looks just like that. Okay, that looks perfect. So now uh, let's, add, let's add some water now to this image. So we're gonna take a brush 
and dip it and uh, pull the color uh, out of the lines. And I'm using my number four. And this is just, there's just nothing to this project. It's just so easy to do. So I'm just gonna start out by pulling this color to the center and just dragging it forward. Okay, I can come underneath like this, just underneath this ridge. And on top of this one, you can see that just kind of brings that little ridge forward. And then under here, we can just add a little of this color too. And we'll go back in here and add a little, um, a little shadow in here too. And then do the details on the windows. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do this, the little cliff. And so we're just gonna just drag, just drag your, um, your brush down, kind of follow the lines. You're not coloring right on the lines, you're dragging the color out. So your, your brush is really going next to the lines and just kind of pulling that color out. So we're not trying to make these lines really dark and thick. We want them to be kind of, you know, just like they are, just thin, but we wanna drag that color out. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to just now take my um, my number one brush and dip this in and just kind of pull this color out now along the edge. And just pull out some of this, this blue. And we can come back in and add a little more color too. Okay, that's pretty good. Just come along and just pull that, kind of pull that color out, out of the lines in there. Okay, so now uh, let's put the trees in. And we're gonna ink these in that dark brown. And then just go over it with the blue, just a little bit, just get a little blue on there, just to change up the color a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna just put this, this on here like this, just so that I can kind of tuck this tree back in behind. And, you know, stamp this in here a few times. You know, get that back in there. And you can come in here with your, um, your little fine tip too and add some more little branches in here. And that'll give you some more um, color variation as well. Okay, and now that I've got that out, actually, let's just finish these little windows. Let's do the detail in here. It always adds a ton when you uh, just put that little detail in. So let's do this little window here, too. And then we've got the little door over here. And we can make that just a little bit darker in there too. Okay, so looking pretty good here. Let's go ahead and add some color now to the palette. And I'm gonna do that with the dark blue and some brown. And I'm going to now put the water in. And I can just do that with the blue. So I'm just gonna put in a few little lines here. Just, you know, make sure to always leave some white spaces. And just kind of bring that color in next to, you know, where you see all these little areas, kind of goes, these little coves that kind of go in here. And just kind of bring that in. It's gonna be a little bit darker in there. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna add some gray now to my palette where this blue is. And I'm just gonna add a little color now to this, this little lighthouse. Just put a little bit of color on here and especially over here 
we can just make a little shadow. You know, you're, we're, we're given the impression that it's cool. You know, it's there's snow on the ground, so it's really cool. Let's add a little color in here. And then let's just put a little more of this blue in. Just right on the edge. Okay, that looks good. So let's add some of this little grass. And we're just going to ink it now with that dark brown. Just kind of the tips of it. Um, so we're just putting in a little bit of this kind of in here. Um, it's very small. You know, it's, it's way in the background, so we don't need to put a lot of it in here. Just kind of where these little cracks are. And then let's add some of this, of the larger one here. And let's just kind of bring this down, just like this. And we can put just a little bit, probably a little bit more in here. And then we're just pulling that color out. And just bring that, just kind of bring that line all the way down. We're just given the idea, you know, the impression that there's a bunch of dead grass in here. So we can just add a little bit of water in here too. And I'm just going to take my, um, my little fine tip now and just kind of, you know, really show these little areas where this kind of goes in. These little, kind of these little cracks. Let's just add a few more little grasses here. In there like so. And then uh, let's take some of this gray now. I'm just gonna add a little bit more in here and let's put in a gray sky. So we can mix a little bit of blue with this, but let's just put in a gray sky in here. You know, your paper can hold a lot of water, so it's okay to you know, really water this down and, you know, get some, get a lot of sky in here. Let's just do a little bit more. So this is that, um, this is that N79. And I've just mixed a little bit of uh, blue in with it, but mostly I've got the gray. And I'm just, I'm leaving that little area, um, you know, next to the horizon so that it, it just kind of looks like a cloud. Okay, so we'll let that just dry for a little bit. And I'm just going to go under here and just add a little more blue in here. And make this, you know, a little darker out here because it would be darker in the distance like that. And a little bit more here on the side. So you can really see that shadow. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's put in our little seagulls and then we will be about finished with this project. So I'm just going to use some, uh, some dark brown and just put them in like that. And then maybe just a couple more back in here. 
And that looks pretty good. I don't see anything else that we need to do with this. You know, sometimes these projects, just keeping them simple is just the best idea. Keeping them simple and quick. Okay, there we go. So sign and date. And we are finished with this little project. I hope you give this one a try. Uh, be sure to tell me if you would like to have it, and we'll put you in. Um, we'll put you in the drawing so that maybe you will win this little this little composition. So, uh, thank you all for joining me for another little lighthouse. I absolutely love these. I'm not sure what we'll do next week, but it will be something really fun. And I mean, it might be another lighthouse. You know, I could spend a lot of time on these. But so, uh, whatever it is, it'll be super fun. And I hope you'll join me next week for another watercolor um, tutorial. Thanks so much.